in this lecture we are going to revise strength of materials let us start with basic terms stress and strain stress is the internal resisting force developed in the body due to externally applied load its formula is given by load by area when this applied load causes deformation in the body the deformation per unit length is known as strain for axial strain the formula is delta l by l for shear strain the formula is delta s by l when the load is applied on the body it not only causes longitudinal deformation it also causes lateral deformation as a result of this the cross sectional area of the component reduces which results in change in stress this stress is known as true stress or instantaneous stress the formula for true stress is given by nominal stress multiplied by final length by initial length this can also be written as nominal stress multiplied by 1 plus nominal strain now coming to true strain or instantaneous strain its formula is given by ln of lf by li or it can be written as ln of 1 plus nominal strain now let us come to stress strain curve when a steel specimen is subjected to tensile load the stress is directly proportional to the strain till the elastic limit this is also known as hooke's law and the constant of proportionality is known as young's modulus it represents the slope of this curve before the elastic limit upon loading it further the deformation produced in it is permanent deformation and this behavior is known as strain hardening or work hardening this happens till the ultimate point after this on further loading the cross sectional area of the specimen rapidly decreases and this phenomena is known as necking and finally it reaches a point where it gets fractured in cup and cone shape you can see this cup and cone shape looks something like this now let's move on to hooke's law as we have discussed the hooke's law states that within elastic limit the stress is directly proportional to the strain and the constant of proportionality is known as young's modulus this can also be applied to shear stress as well as change in pressure shear stress is directly proportional to shear strain and the constant of proportionality is known as modulus of rigidity and the change in pressure is directly proportional to the volumetric strain and the constant of proportionality is known as bulk modulus now let us revise formula for elongation for some standard cases for a prismatic bar the formula is given by pl by ae if this cross section is circularly varying then the formula is given by pl by pi by 4 d1 d2 e if this is rectangularly varying then the formula is given by pl by et multiplied by a minus b multiplied by logarithm of a by b now coming to fourth case the bar in which e is varying for that elongation is given by pl by a multiplied by e2 minus e1 into ln of e2 by e1 now deformation of prismatic bar due to self weight is given by weight density multiplied by l square by 2e for conical bar 2 is replaced by 6 and the formula is given by weight density multiplied by l square by 6e now coming to poisson ratio it is defined as ratio of lateral strain by longitudinal strain and the formula is given by mu is equal to delta d by d divided by delta l by l where d is the lateral dimension of the bar now coming to 